Meanwhile, six suspects charged in connection to the Sulai Dam tragedy in which 48 people died will spend the weekend in police custody pending a bail ruling on Monday. The suspects, who include the farm owner Perry Mansuk, pleaded not guilty to charges of manslaughter. Stephen Leto now joins us with the latest from the Naivasha Law Courts. A very good afternoon to you, Stephen. Uh, what else can you tell us from there? Because we understand yesterday three suspects were charged. Now we understand six suspects have already been processed. Two more are uh, yet to be processed. What exactly is happening? Good afternoon, Fred. And uh, from Naivasha Law Courts, uh, uh, it is exactly that uh, what you've said, that uh, Perry Mansu, the owner of the Patel Dam that, you know, led to the death of 48 people, uh, is, uh, you know, expected now to spend uh, 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 the entire weekend in police custody. But the judge has ruled that uh, Perry Mansu, the Patel, uh, Patel Dam owner, the general manager, uh, uh, Verge Kumar, as well as uh, four others are expected to be uh, you know, detained at the Naivasha uh, the remand prison until Monday 2 p.m. when he will be ruling whether they will be released on bail or not. Uh, this is as, uh, really a setting a precedence where the uh, you know the the, the 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 prosecution and the rulings that are being given appears to be very uh, you know um, uh, tight on the side of the suspects for this case. Remember, this is a case that is uh, you know uh, that had been uh, you know said by the uh, the D DPP. Nordin Haji that he wants to pursue it to its logical conclusion and uh, the the six suspects have already uh, be, uh, are already on their way to the Naivasha Sharriman prison uh, for detention but uh, uh, during the end of that uh, court session two more suspects were brought and uh, uh, the the two suspects the, the judge has ordered that they they surrender themselves to the nearest uh, the, the the ICO police station right here in Naivasha get processed and the uh, the police officers now now are supposed to pre, uh, to, pro, uh, uh, to present them in court according to the law. That again tells you that the two suspects are expected to remain in police custody until Monday when they will be presented or when they will be produced in court. And so that exactly is what has transpired right here from Naivasha. We again waiting to see what the, what the Senate ad hoc committee is uh, currently uh, doing in uh, Nakuru because it had gone to visit the Solidam. It is expected to meet the victim and get the word from them and of course as and when we get more details, we will be able to know. We know, we know that the, the, the team is already there. Susan Kihika, the senator for Nakuru, uh, the uh, Mutula Kilonzo Jr., the chairman of the ad hoc committee, is leading a team in terms of you know uh, trying to bring or unearth the truth in terms of what led to the to the killer dam to bust its banks and uh, you know cough out uh, about millions of cubic meters of water that swept away the entire village in Solai and led to uh, you know death of 48 people. Remember this: uh, the suspects in remand will be fa are facing charges of manslaughter, 48 of them, and it is that that we expect to know whether they will be getting bail on Monday or not. But for now, Fred, they will be spending the entire weekend behind bars. Fred. Thank you, Stephen. Stephen Leto, they're live from outside the Naivasha Law Courts, where uh, the three suspects, six suspects uh, uh, who are charged with manslaughter in relation to the Solai Dam tragedy will spend the weekend in police custody pending a uh, hearing on their bail, which will take place on Monday.